Our topic for this morning is don't let your dream be destroyed. Don't let your dream be destroyed. Have you got any passionate dreams for your future? Have you got any plans for your family? Have you got any steps to develop your personal career? Never let it be destroyed in any way. Because God's servant Zerubbabel had the same issue. He came to rebuild the temple. As he was reconstructing, the enemies of Judah and Benjamin came and destroyed and distracted the plans of Zerubbabel. Let's read Ezra chapter 4 verse 13 and 14. Let it now be known to the king that if this city is built and the walls completed, they will not pay tax, tribute or custom and the king treasury will be diminished. Verse 14. Now, because we receive support from the palace, it was not proper for us to see the king's dishonor. Therefore, we have sent and informed the king. My friends, the enemies accused Zerubbabel with all wrong accusation in order to bring wrong reputation. Even today, some people may be trying to disturb your peace of mind. Some may be trying to bring bad name for you. Some may be trying to gossip about you with your employer. But don't let it go. Never let your dream be destroyed because Jesus will be your defender. And he will encourage you as Jesus encouraged Zerubbabel. Let us read Ezra chapter 5 and 2 how God was with Zerubbabel. And the same God who was with Zerubbabel will be also with you. Ezra chapter 5 verse 2 says, So Zerubbabel the son of Sheatel and Joshua the son of Josadak rose up and began to build the house of God which is in Jerusalem. And the prophets of God were with them helping them. My friends, are you passing through great disturbance from your enemies? Are you facing discouragement from your oppressors? Are people demotivating you? Here is the prophecy. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you, will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. My saints, never let your dream be destroyed because Jesus is your encourager and Jesus your motivator and Jesus is your coach and Jesus is your employer. Cast your anxiety upon him and he will encourage you to move forward. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Please, dear Lord, give us strength to continue our race until we meet Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.